Truth is, is that your space is ever evolving. You are never done decorating. So this took so long because you only film these videos when you're somewhat comfortable. So this is as comfortable as I'm gonna get. As you enter the living space, I loved the really warm oak tones to the kitchen. So I thought that blue would be the perfect complement, and I carried that from the pantry into the kitchen as well. And given that the backsplash was already this like ochre color, it was kind of a no-brainer for me to just lay on those primary colors and bring in reds. This is a living room. The only difference that you didn't see is that I did put a rug down, but then I took it right back up. I also have a station dedicated to just drinking water because I can't be trusted to remember to do anything. I have to create visual cues in my space to remind me. And for the same reason, I utilized open shelving for me to just have like easy access to the things that I need to grab on a regular basis, which at this point is kind of nothing in particular. So that's why like my laptop is up there. I'll use this as a standing desk. There's always plants there so you can get extra light, but intermittently it'll change. If I want to be reminded to read, I put more books or magazines that I want to encourage myself to pick up. Other than that, I just have a little extra storage. And here I have like ankle weights, bands, jump rope, or mobility or workout. Dining area is an assortment of thrifts and DIYs. So the frame that you saw me painting in the last apartment update, I put this print I already had into. And the rest of it is really just in areas that have not fully come together into anything that I'm particularly happy with. So they're just kind of placed out in the open. Also another reason why I don't have a rug is so that I can easily convert this couch like a bed or a flat lay. So I just prefer that everything just kind of stays flush and even with the floor. So that it's a quick transition when I want to lounge or have a movie night. And this is when I realized that I probably should have vacuumed the couch. If you're one of those people who are looking for a review of this sofa, because I, I looked, I couldn't find any. I'm actually going to be posting one really soon. I'm, I'm currently editing it. You can look forward to that in a week or two. And I know I've been talking about Squarespace for the longest, but it's the company that grows with you, you know, because they're always coming out with new products. Like just the other day, I noticed that they now offer client invoicing. And if you do anything freelance, you know how convenient that is. So I can't wait to try that. And apparently you can offer courses too. So if you wanted me to walk you through like the basics or show how to cut vegetables, apparently this would be the place for that. I'm actually curious to know what that interface looks like. If for some reason you still haven't signed up for Squarespace by now, if you do need it, the code A between E will get you a discount or you just head to squarespace.com backslash a between e and next up the bedroom i initially thought i would do a bedroom makeover like paint but at the end of the day it wasn't worth it because i knew whatever color i picked would not be appropriate for me to leave if you've seen my apartment update videos you may recognize this nightstand this lamp sitting on top is thrifted but this is not normally here because what i actually use is this lamp in the corner because obviously the big light is never an option. And also if I'm in my bedroom in the first place, that likely means I'm trying to go to sleep or I just want to be calm. And what better way to do that with a little like red light therapy, but not really. Also a long time ago, I thrifted this um, letter press drawer, which I intended to use as a jewelry holder. And I have a vision, a vision that includes a lid that has yet to happen, but maybe a future project. And for the other shelf that I also DIY'd, because I didn't actually want any furniture to take up floor space, this was my solution to place things out in the open that I need to see, have easy access to, and be reminded to use. And I'm not sure if I ever shared this with you, but I was with this chair like well over a year ago.
also thrifted is this mirror which is beautiful but so heavy so that's why it's not actually hung on the wall and also because you don't really want to point mirrors at your bed something about feng shui that i don't know but i feel like is actually true so it will be moving and i don't know if you can tell but the headboard is not actually in its correct position i'll say because instead of mounting it to the bed which has taken off some of the contact paper i realized that i just don't like the height or the angle that it sits at so i just sat it on the floor is this sturdy no but do i care also no all hated the green of the bathroom i did paint it to a color that maybe i wouldn't have technically picked but i already had it but i do really like this color with red so i thought it would complement the frame that i put around the mirror and all of the tiles in the shower and on the floor are vinyl and i brought in a touch of pink with this bath mat that i'm obsessed with and have in two colors but other than that not really much to see here because i wouldn't necessarily call this cohesive it's not i never really brought it full circle but that's okay there's always layer that's it, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about my couch that you want me to include in the review, let me know below.